52 Traders, episode 140. Change the expectations. Go in without any expectations and tell and let the market tell you what the market wants to tell you. Join Cam every week on the 52 Traders podcast or at 52traders.com to learn how to trade like the pros. This podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not investment, trading, or financial advice of any kind. What's up, traders? Welcome to another installment of the 52 Traders Podcast. I'm your host, Cam Hawkins, and today we have Conrad Alvin Lim on the show. Now, Conrad has a list of accolades, as long as your arm, and uh, it's going to be a slightly different show from what we normally do here, so I'm not going to go through the standard questions, but we're still going to hear Conrad's story, and we're going to, then we're going to dive deep into trading psychology and get his views on where a lot of traders go wrong. Now, before we get into that, talking about trading psychology, there was a great quote posted in Andre's chat room uh, in the weekend, and I retweeted it or reposted it in my chat room, the 52 Traders chat room for pro members, um, and I'm going to read it out here because it was so it was such a great quote that I hope that more of you can sort of you know take heed on on these words. And it's, it's a very long quote actually. It's more of a, a paragraph or a parable or a story or something anyway let's get on with it so this is what traders do in the weekend so remember folks this is from this guy called uh, a trader called Feiss so well done Feiss Uh, remember folks take the time today to backtest and dig deep during the weekends the weekends are a crucial part of trading success it's time to really hone in on any ideas you have in mind and it's a time for introspection while others are taking time off this is when you need to ask yourself what are your motivations and your commitments why are you really trading? Before you do your leisure activities today, leisure activities today, make it a goal to get some hours in on the charts and write down your strengths and weaknesses you have had through uh, out your week slash backtests and work on them. Again, I'm not saying you can't unwind later. It's very important to relax when you can. However, it's just as important to maintain sharpness of the most important weapon you have while trading, that and that is your mind. When you, when the, uh, when the new week of trading begins, many participants are coming into the markets with a dull blade, but back, back testing allows you to keep your blade slash mind sharp when others are trying to catch up. When you're done back testing, not only will you feel accomplished, but it will give you a reason to reward yourself later. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much, Vice. Um, a great little quote there. So, guys, if you uh, thinking about what you're doing in the weekends regarding your trading and you're not doing some of this stuff, then... Have another listen to that, rewind 30 seconds and just listen to that again and maybe you want to sort of change some of the things you're doing in the weekend and thinking that trading week is, is over. All right, folks, like, let's, right, let's get into today's interview with Conrad Alvin Lim. All right, folks, so we've got Conrad Alvin Lim here on the show. We've got a bit of a different show for you guys today. We're not going to go through the regular questions. In fact, we've got someone on who's pretty much a master at trading psychology. He's written a few books on that. Um, Conrad's from Singapore, married uh, with kids, basically trades almost everything, uh, US stocks, futures, bonds, options, currencies. Uh, He's an educator, and as I mentioned, he's an author. He's got two top-selling, number one best-selling books, and his latest book is Winning Psychology of Defensive Traders. How's it going over there, Conrad? Uh, Yeah, it's nice and hot as usual in Singapore. Uh, it always is, isn't it? Hey, what's the pollution like today? Is it okay? No, yeah, it's fine. It's nice and clear, just damn hot. Yeah, I think last time I spoke to somebody on the interview from Singapore, they you'd just gone through this massive, hum- like really bad pollution where it was um, somebody was burning palm trees, palm oil trees in another country, and it was polluting Singapore like horrifically. Oh, yeah. Um, that, that's a seasonal thing. The uh, farmers ah. in Sumatra and Indonesia tend to do this slash and burn exercise and um, uh, for the coming season. And uh, the, 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 the haze just carries. I mean, they call it haze. I call it pollution. It just yeah. carries right right into this country. And, um, you know, ironically, the, com- the companies that are actually doing the slash and burn are Singapore companies. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. They're, well, they're all obviously probably on the other side of it, making sure they're not in Singapore at the time. Um, really? In Thailand or something, having a, a beach holiday. Right, so so um, I suppose before we get into the trading psychology part of the show and really diving deep on that, and I've got a number of questions. I've got questions from listeners that I'm going to ask you, and, and we're really sort of going to you know hammer this out. Uh, do you want sure. to tell the listeners out there who some of them probably might not know who you are, 
a little bit about yeah, so your trading story and where you started, how you got to where you are now. Okay, it's a long story, but I'll keep it really quick. Um, I first got into the market while I was in the media industry back in 1987. Now, um, that was quite by accident because um, being in the media industry, we were asked to do a video, a corporate video for the Singapore Stock Exchange. So that was my introduction to the market and I fell in love with it there and then. Um, what happened thereafter was um, having made friends, I got into the market through these brokers and whatever I bought made money. And this lasted all the way till like 1992. I stopped buying and started liquidating all the way to 1995 and I, I, had, I had made quite a bit. What I didn't know at that time was the market had crashed in 1987. So anything that you bought made money. <laughs> Now this was going to get good. This was going to become a very important lesson in my in my future, right? So I left the markets in 1995, 1995 and uh, focused on my media business, and uh, that didn't work out too well. By 2000, I was bankrupt. Yeah. Uh, so during my bankruptcy years, and my bankruptcy was purely because of financial ignorance. Yeah. Um, so I decided to do something about uh, my financial ignorance during my bankrupt years and um, decided to learn finance and economics. And while doing that, I happened upon trading again. And this was around 2004 where online trading became rather prominent here in Singapore. And I was thinking to myself, well, I did it back in 1987. Now I don't need a broker. I just fund an account and I can trade myself out of bankruptcy. It was that easy, right? And uh, actually, it isn't. It wasn't at all, right? And I and I, I blew my, I wiped out my account. I blew several accounts, and I really needed to find out what went wrong. And because I was already studying finance and economics, I decided to take it further. Super long story cut short. Found my way to the United States and learned from some of the best practitioners in the business. Even till today, uh, some of my teachers. Uh, uh, like um, Ron Ionary, John Person, um, the late David Elliott, Larry Williams, who I believe was uh, a guest on your show as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, the whole host of other people. Um, one of them wasn't even a, a trader, but he was an economist, a uh, well-renowned uh, multiple PhD economist uh, by the name of David Kaplow. And uh, he taught me everything I needed to know about economics. Now, what does this have to do with trading? It it forced me to take a very holistic view about what the markets and the economies were about. And believe it or not, that started to improve my trading. When once I was just focused on um, technicals and fundamentals, I learned the bigger picture and found out what went wrong. And I guess this is why, what we'll be talking about today. Okay. And, and I suppose just on that uh, style of yours, so what would you call your style these days? All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that little teaser of the interview there. Now, as I said before, my name's Cam Hawkins, and this is 52 Traders. Look, it's been said that the fastest way to become rich is to find a successful trader and simply do what he's doing. However, the challenge is finding someone who really knows what they're doing and who's willing to share. Now, that's what you get here at 52 Traders, and that's what you get in this interview, the full interview, and all the other ones that I've done. Look, since 2015, I've been finding the very best traders who know what they're doing and getting them to share their expertise. Now, during this interview, you're going to hear just one of over 100 interviews that I've done, and I know you're going to love it, but... This interview is just the tip of the iceberg, so over the course of the next 30 days, you'll have free access to my entire library of interviews with over 100 of the world's best traders. And you'll also enjoy my private chat room where past guests and other full-time traders are sharing charts and helping other traders 24-7. Have you ever wanted to talk to Larry Williams, who turned 10K into 1.1 million in less than a year, or how about Timothy Sykes, Andrea Unger, Al Brooks or Rob Booker, they're also in there along with many more. When you get started today, you'll immediately receive access to interviews with dozens of world-renowned experts in Forex, stocks, bonds, commodities, cryptocurrencies, options, and futures trading. And the great news is this series of interviews grows each month. That's because every month I talk to some of the best traders in the world, getting them to reveal their step-by-step -step trading methods and the secrets behind their trading success. So whether you trade Forex, futures, stocks, options, or cryptocurrencies, the knowledge and methods these traders share will help you take your trading profits 
to the next level. So why not give it a try? It's only $5 to get started and have instant access to over 100 interviews with some of the world's top traders and the 24-7 chat room where you get direct access to some of the world's best traders. Then after 30 days, if you like the comprehensive education you're getting, you can continue to receive up to four new interviews each month and the 24-7 chat room for only $5 a month. But if not, there's no obligation to continue. Where else would you get such direct access to the world's best traders for what many pay for a cup of coffee? So go ahead, click the link in the show notes or go to 52traders.com and start learning from some of the world's best traders. Trust me, you'll be glad you did.